What's going on? This is Kingfisher here. So today I want to take you through how I made this brass orchestral style sample. Some artists that I could hear on this would be Gunna, Jack Harlow, Young Thug. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what I did to start off this sample was pull up a trumpet and expand two. Expand is a go-to VST for me when I'm starting off melodies because it has a wide variety of different sounds in it, which allows you to go in a lot of different directions when you're just trying to come up with ideas. Some other good orchestral VSTs that you can use include SRX Orchestra by Roland, the Korg Triton, as well as session horns and session strings that are compatible with contact. So when creating the MIDI patterns for these samples, you wanna use a mixture of short and long notes, which gives the sample more variety and makes it sound more realistic. After I laid down that MIDI and was happy with how it was sounding, I recorded each note with my live trumpet. Once I recorded all the takes for the trumpet, I routed them all to one mixer track. I added an EQ to take out the unnecessary low end, some reverb to push the trumpets out in the mix, and some saturation to bring out some energy and liveliness in the trumpets. One thing I've really been trying to focus on in my samples recently is leaving enough space for an artist and a producer to add drums. Once I had this brass section looping, I realized I didn't really need many other melodic elements in the sample, to finish it off. The next element that I added was more of a textural drone sound that just served as a support for the brass section. I pulled up a soft pad sound in Analog Lab and clicked in a repetitive triplet pattern. This basically just serves as an ambient support layer for the trumpet section. The effects that I put on this pad were a portal to give some granular texture a shaper box to give a side chain, and an EQ to cut out the unwanted high and low frequencies. The next thing that I did was take that pad sound and render it out. I stretched that rendered melody out to half the time to give the pad some more support and add some texture to the melody. So the next element that I added in this melody was a trippy key sound that I found in Analog Lab. I clicked in a simple MIDI pattern that consisted of the initial chord on the downbeat of every bar. The only effect that I added to this key sound was a portal to give it some extra tail and some more texture. So the final melodic elements that I added to this sample were a bass line and some key stabs that followed the root notes of the chords of the melody. The only thing that I added to these two elements was an EQ to cut out the unnecessary high end. The final thing that I added to this melody were some textural percussion loops, just as ear candy in the background. On these textural elements, I like to put a very aggressive bandpass filter and turn down the volume to keep them really small in the mix and subtly detectable. Thanks again for watching. If you like this melody, I put a link to download it for free in the description of this video. It would also help me out if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one.